This is an introductory lesson on how a gasoline engine works. Here you can see the main components of the internal combustion engine. From the top left we have the valves. The valves open and close to let gas and air in as well as letting exhaust out once the gas is burned. Next to the right you can see the camshaft. The camshaft has little oblong shaped circles on it that are called lobes and as this shaft turns the lobes push open the valves to let the gas in and the exhaust fumes out. The cam turns because it is attached to the crankshaft below by the timing belt but we'll talk about that more later. Here you can see the camshaft turning and pushing the valves open and closed. The valves are attached by springs that you can't see in this animation. However, the springs return the valves back up to their starting position. But you can see the basic concept of how the camshaft with the lobes on the ends pushes the valves down as the oblong shaped part of the circle comes around. Next is a distributor. The distributor takes electricity from the battery of your car and sends it to the spark plugs using wires. The spark plugs are small stick shaped pieces of metal with a conductive material in the middle called an electrode. When the electricity reaches the end of the electrode it wants to go somewhere but it only has one option and that is to jump the little gap at the end. When the electricity jumps, it is called a spark, just like how you use a spark to light a lighter. This is the distributor with the wires coming out of it going straight to the spark plugs. The spark plugs ignite, as you can see here, and ignite the fuel above the piston, which will be later explained in this video. Next is the piston. The piston goes up and down because above it there's an explosion and we know that explosions are very powerful so when the spark from the spark plug ignites the gas that is put in by the valves it combusts and pushes the piston down with a lot of force. Next we see the crankshaft the crankshaft is a shaft with a lever shaft connected to it that is not in the center of the main shaft. This shaft converts the up-down motion of the piston to a rotary motion that turns the wheels on your car. Here, in the circles indicated, you can see the counterweights of the crankshaft. The counterweights make sure the shaft does a full circle and pushes the piston back up to get ready for the next explosion. Here you can see the crankshaft and the pistons moving up and down together. Next we have the alternator. The alternator is connected by a belt to the crankshaft and as the crankshaft turns it turns the alternator. The alternator charges the battery in the car so that it doesn't die quickly. Without an alternator, the battery in your car would die extremely fast due to the spark plug charges. The timing belt that connects the alternator and crankshaft and camshaft is just a belt so that they all run in unison. All in all, the motion of the entire system comes from the pistons moving up and down from the explosions inside. The pistons turn the crankshaft and from there using a belt and pulley system the crank turns the alternator to charge the battery and then the camshaft which opens and closes the valves to let more gas in and exhaust out. Next we will show the four strokes of the engine. Here you can see all of the strokes of the engine. These are all the parts of the engine 
that were just explained, but more in detail. Next, you'll see the first stroke of the engine, the intake stroke. As the piston goes down, the valve opens and lets air and fuel in. Next is the compression stroke. As the piston goes up, it compresses the air and fuel. Now that it's compressed, it is ready for the explosion. The spark plug ignites, forcing the piston back down The piston gets forced down here when the explosion happens, as you can see, and turns the crankshaft at the bottom. Now, the piston goes back up, and as the valve opens, it pushes all the exhaust gases out. Next, you see a full working engine. The only difference is, this engine is turned by a motor, because we cannot have explosions with an open motor. This is a cutout of a Ford engine. Here you can see the piston, the valves, the springs, however the camshaft is not visible. This is a spark plug with the wire removed. It sits inside so that the explosion can happen. That's another spark plug with the valves to the right. This is the working engine. The crankshaft, the yellow figure, is turning and the pistons and their connecting rods are going up and down. The blue is the connecting rod on the bottom. Here you can see the valves opening. That is the fuel valve. That is the exhaust valve. Now from the main perspective you can see all the engines main working parts and how they work. This is the basic concept behind an engine.